So I just tried to install Jenkins on VM on Google Cloud. Jenkins by default runs on port 8080, so I tried accessing Jenkins from public IP at port 8080, but it says site can't be reached. So this is my virtual machine, and this is my IP address, and I'm gonna try to reach out to at 8080. So by default, like I said, Jenkins runs at 8080. So my first start was to check if the service is up and running. So I checked with command line utility net sat, which actually shows that the application is running at 8080. Jenkins is Java application, so uh, it looks good. And I'm trying to troubleshoot it. So I figured out there is a thing called file firewall within Google Cloud. Uh, you, so we are trying to access the public. So we are trying to access the IP address through public IP through 8080 from the internet. In Google Compute Engine, by default, all incoming ports from external IPs in GCE are blocked. So we need to create a firewall rule that allows ingress uh, TCP at 8080 port numbered. So what we what I'm going to do is to go into firewalls in networking section and uh, add a new firewall rule. So I'm going to name it as rule allow TCP 8080 and give I'm going to give some description saying uh, ingress TCP 8080 with VMs containing tag will allow traffic through 8080. I'm going to give 100,000 as priority and add a tag called allow TCP 8080. And from a source IP address perspective, I'm, I'm saying that allow to all the IP addresses. So if your solution or service is in production, so please be cautious. Uh, this is not recommended if you're uh, doing this in production. Since this is a test environment, I just open it for all the IPs. And uh, from protocols and ports, I'm saying a specified port allow the traffic through a specified TCP port at 8080. And I'm gonna hit the save. Before hitting the save, I'm gonna make sure that I remember that it's allow TCP 8080 because we need to add this tag to the virtual machine where our Jenkins is running. So I'm gonna save this. And then I'll just copy the tag, which is this. Go to my virtual machine, edit my virtual machine. And in the network section, network tag section, I'm gonna add this new tag. And I'm gonna hit the save button. This should give us the access to Jenkins through the public IP. So let's go ahead and let's see if it's still saving. Yeah, it's still saving. Let that complete. Yeah, it looks like that's complete. And then I'm gonna refresh this page. That did it. So, yep. So all that we need to do is to create a new firewall rule and add that tag to the virtual machine in the network section. And you will get access to the service running in a specific port. So, this applies for any service that you're trying to run, depending upon the port. And all that you need to do is to create a new firewall. Let's just say you have a new service running at port 8081. You create a new firewall rule, add that tag into the virtual machine, and it should be up and running. I hope this video helped. Thank you. All right, that's all for this video today. I hope you found this video informative. I'm looking forward to make uh, such videos. If you find this video informative, please consider subscribing my channel and supporting my work. 